You know when you're looking at buying a car and it says adult driven? There's a reason why they specifically point that out. And I think we're gonna find out why. How many of you know that sometimes you can get a severe case of the stupid? video was supposed to be about log splitters but after I seen how Elliot's truck looked when he showed up oh crap. I couldn't just let this go and um, while you're watching this video Tim and I are gonna be looking at a floating staircase to demolish and an almost impossible job what the what the heck do you got us going into? Seriously, this is our access. Well, this was the equipment access. This is the this is our equipment access, what we just walked. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, and down here. Uh, we'll show you that at the same time. But check out what he did to his truck. We're in his uh, wood splitter for our wood splitter video. Hey, hey Frankie. Check this out. There's Elliot's wood splitter. I don't consent to be filmed. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 crap. Did they, did they have adult supervision on that? I don't think they did. Oh, oh, shnikes. Uh, you know what? Let's let's hear the story from his perspective. What the heck did you do to your truck? This thing was perfectly fine two days ago. Yep. <laughs> Actually, no. Th well, yeah, two days ago. Hey, man, Fourth of July was great. That's huge. I don't great. think you, I don't think your truck great. is going to agree with you. <laughs> what happened there? I had to stop. Are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, yeah? He Scrap metal's fine too. What? That's what he hit. So, he's got a big field, and it was slippery out, and I didn't stop in John time. Did John Green? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, and so I ended up hitting his scrap pile. Something green. I don't know, probably five, ten miles an hour. So you were, so you were just cruising along through the field. And if it, had been, if it had been dry, it wouldn't have been a problem at all. So you were whipping Louis. It's a little like that four-wheeler video. Yeah, it was in the no. same exact spot. <laughs> was it? Yeah. Well, close. Uh, okay.
it was mostly, it was more, so, it, it, it was a combination of things. I didn't have traction control on, because field. And then I was leaving, and then I stopped in time if it had been dry, but it wasn't dry. You know, the combination of things, Frankie, that I'm hearing isn't the same combination of things that I'm thinking of what actually happened in my head. What do you think happened, I'm, Stan? I'm thinking, uh... 19, 18, 19 year old kid had a four wheel drive truck and it was a muddy field and this is what happens. Cause I'll tell you straight up, traction control or no traction control, my truck would not come back from a muddy field looking like that. Just saying, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> you don't even have that paid off, do you? Yeah. <laughs> oh golly. Don't worry, now he gets to upgrade the whole front end though. Uh -huh. It's gonna look a lot he better. He gets to put cool headlights and a cool grill and a nice big old meaty bumper. Sure. And then is the pocketbook ready for to do all that work? It was gonna do it all anyway, just oh. maybe not yet. Oh, yeah. Just I'm gonna put a new front fender on and... It won't be that bad. It, it's, it's annoying, but I'm not really all that upset about it. We won't talk it. about the dent in his hood from a completely different thing. What? Where's that wasn't 100% my fault. Where's that at now? <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, dear. Well, what happened with that? You ran into me on a mower. Yeah, do you want to tell the full story? I was driving the mower into my field, and I stopped to look at in my phone. In the middle phone. of the entrance. No, I yes. was, well, okay, fine. We can say I was in the middle of the entrance. Mr. Smarticles over here. Smarticles. Was, Mr. Smarticles was just like, I'm just gonna keep going. And the next thing I know, I'm about 10 feet further ahead oh, of myself than I was. Is that so, much? So how did you get a dent up there if you were on the Because I have a riding mower with the, he's got the, the he's roll got bar. He's got the zero turn with the roll bar. So and you, I had the roll you, bar. You decided to back. push him? I didn't push him, I don't think at all. Cause so, so He was looking at his trailer. So the way you get into his field is between two outbuildings. And he's got a scrap pile right by one I know outbuilding. who won't be driving my truck from now on. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so, when, when did this happen now? When which did part? part? The hood thing happened? Like two Last days before this part. No, oh, more than that. Yeah, a week or two ago. No. It was like when we were mowing the field. All right. Before. All I got to say is when you see a car or a truck for sale and it says adult driven, Take that into consideration. There is a reason why people prefer those over some of the other vehicles out there. Do you think you could safely handle a log splitter without wrecking anything, Elliot? We're gonna split your head open, right? <laughs> <laughs> Homeschooled. It's as, that's as good as he gets for a comeback. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Elliot. We love you. <laughs> ah! Ah! Actually, if we didn't like him, we wouldn't tease him. That's true. That's that's the truth. <laughs> we only tease people we like. At least where I grew up, when I was growing up, if I didn't tease you, it meant I didn't like you. The more I tease you, the more I like you. Is that why you don't tease Frankie? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this thing unloaded. Three, two, one, go! You'll never guess the places that I've been. you never guess the places that I've been. Cause everything is like a dream, yeah, but only in that dream that I live in I'm never gonna let the day begin Never gonna let the day begin Cause everything is like a dream, yeah, but only in that dream that I live in Oh, don't wake me up before you go and I'll just make this bed my home Oh darling, please just let me sleep Give me my dreams Whoa, 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 alright, now
I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself because in the next video, Frankie and I take a brand new hydraulic log splitter and put it against this insanely fast kinetic log splitter and we show you the results. And the way this thing goes, not quite what anybody expected. But today, I showed you what I consider to be an impossible job. So let's go back there and see how the heck we get into this site and what we're even going to be, this job is nuts. Just watch, you see what I'm talking about. This is 362. I know. It's in the back. There's a stable house back there, old stable house. There. You said 344. Yeah, that's 344. Looks like they're getting new windows. So what we're doing is we're, uh, if you can see the staircase from here. That's gonna be the job site. That's an old stable and carriage house. Huh? That's an old carriage house to this property. Okay. You should see the, the wall on the bottom side of there, but we have, there's no access, no equipment access. And we gotta take we out doing? this. Let's see. Let's go down. Wow, that's really cool. This is our access right here, Tim? Well, no. I mean, this was the best machine access. You, find, you know a machine that can crawl in, up and down steps that I haven't heard of? Nope. These steps suck. If you try to use these, you're gonna break them up. They're all uneven. What is this, like two foot wide? And they're cracked. Oh, that's not even two foot wide. Are you kidding me? This is access, Tim? What the? Hmm. I'm looking at this job, thinking, nah, but let's check it out. We came this far. What the heck do you got us going into? Seriously, this is our access. Well, this was the equipment access. This is the this is our equipment access. What we just walked. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, and down here. A little dirt ramp. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! Well, how do the people get in the house? Well, no, you can walk up the stairs. There's just nobody to let us in right now. Oh. Carriage house, huh? Well, they got to be remodeling this, so. Here's your staircase. Holy buckets. Holy cow. So, when you said a floating staircase, you actually weren't joking. Yep. And we just tore one of these out over at that last job. Not like this, just a floating sidewalk. And it's laced with rebar. The whole thing is laced with rebar. Uh -huh. You gotta try to get it off that wall, you know, exposed with minimal damage. That's gotta be, you know, how many hundred year old, good hundred year old uh, limestone wall. And then you gotta do something with the uh, concrete once you get it broken up. And get it out of here. They don't want any of this gone. They're gonna build a. They're gonna do some kind of an addition back here, maybe down the line. Oh yeah, how are they gonna do that? I don't know. You talk to the owner. Yeah. Yep. And that's the best access he came up with because everything else. What we just walked. Yeah. Was the best access. Yeah. So here's a chance of. Uh, let's say we can get this broken up. into small enough pieces to carry over here. 
maybe have good old Frankie build us a chute, and then you throw it down the chute, and uh, wheelbarrow it over to a skid steer waiting to load up a dump truck. Or you can build a chute over here. idea. We could do that. It would be much better than trying to billy goat up and down that hill. Oh yeah. No, that is just the equipment. Um, there's just no way to get anything in here. Well, you're not going to get equipment up here. Nope. My only thoughts was a light piece of equipment. And crane it up. And crane but it, are you on top in. of a garage right there? Nope. So there's no axe. There's no crane that can cantilever that far because you've got a cantilever lever over that wall you can't park there where you're at nope you gotta set it up in the grass so so what is that 50 feet yeah there's no crane oh there's cranes there's big cranes out there but what can you fit down here i don't think you can get a crane big enough to uh because this is a pretty curvy road here but if they were to sit right here and then crane up a um you know, I don't think you can train that far. I don't far. think they have the right angle. They'd have to sit across the street. That'd be pretty dang okay. tight. But. So now you guys have seen the site. My question to you is, we've got to remove that floating staircase over there. There's no access up. We've got a garage here. How would you do it? Yeah. That's what Tim's question to me is. And there's our road. All right, guys. Well, I actually did come up with my own game plan, and I'm going to share that with you now. So the game plan, well, I happen to be, actually, let me back this up a little bit. I happen to be doing currently doing some testing on powered wheelbarrows. And what I'm finding with this next generation of powered wheelbarrows, the, at least the ones I'm testing right now, they're phenomenal. I mean like wow phenomenal Please. Okay, so so like it's got great balance yeah yeah we need loaded oh holy okay do that again you can see he's not hardly even Look at the balance on that. That's, dang. Driveway, all right, you ready? Three, two, one, run him over. That was one-handed. You did that one-handed. And so we're gonna use a few of those, and then we're gonna use electric jackhammers, and we're gonna power our way through the stairs, busting it up, use the powered wheelbarrows to uh, go uh, over to the side of the garage, and then hand chuck everything down into a dump truck or a dumpster, probably a dump truck, because we can't leave a dumpster because that street's too narrow, to fill it up. So now that you know how we're gonna do it, I anticipate that this job's going to have three guys, for two weeks to take from start to finish. So I want you guys knowing that we've got, well here to give you everything, three guys, two weeks. So we've got 240 labor hours and at least to do this job, plus three dump truck loads of concrete coming out, it's what we anticipate, plus the cost of the, uh, the, um, the powered wheelbarrows to get these onto the site. What would you guys bid this job for? Let me know and take your best guess in the comments down below and look for my upcoming videos. We're gonna be showing you the log splitters. We're gonna be really going in depth on these powered wheelbarrows. 
and um, a lot of heavy equipment, I mean a lot of heavy equipment. 